In this puzzle, you have to place 10 points and draw 5 lines. Each line has to have 4 points on it. So here I'm going to give you a clue. There are 7 points and 2 lines. So now all that you have to do is to find the position of 3 more points and 3 more lines. You ready? So give it a try and I'm going to give you the answer in 3 seconds. You can choose the origin at the lower right and you can also give me the equations of those lines. Ready? Those are the points and here are the lines. y is equal to x plus 5 y is equal to 1 half x plus 4 and y is equal to 1 third x plus 3. Now that you've seen how it works, let me give you a new puzzle. This time I'm only going to give you 5 points and 2 lines. So you notice that that vertical line, it only has 3 points on it. So you'll need to put an additional point on that one. And the horizontal line also only has 3 points. So you'll need to put an additional point on that one too. Remember, you need to have 5 lines at the end and each one of those lines has to have 4 points on it. We're going to again uh, look at naming the origin there so that you can give the equation for those three new lines that you have to find. Okay, try to solve it and whenever you're ready, come back. Okay, so the solution, there are the five other points. Here is the first line, y is equal to minus x plus 5. The second, y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. And the last one, y is equal to x plus 3. The person responsible for these beautiful puzzles was the master puzzle maker, Henry Dudeney. In 1917, Henry Dudeney was responsible for posing an unsolved problem. It's called the no three in a line problem. Here it is on a 10 by 10 board. In this case, you have to place 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 towers so that no three of them lie on the same line. Is it possible? Well, here was my attempt. Have I succeeded? No, first of all, I only have 18, not 20 towers. And secondly, look at this, I have three lines and each one of those lines has got three or more towers. So this is not a solution. But there are many solutions for the 10 by 10 uh, grid. Here's one of them, another, and yet another. So this is a great excuse to get your students to experiment. You can name any origin that you like and then get them to try to complete a grid of any size so that no three of those uh, towers lie on the same line. And if they fail, they have to name the line, they have to write the equation for the line where they failed.